The late 2009 and mid-2010 27-inch iMacs have a version of target display mode where any device that can output a DisplayPort signal can use these Macs as monitors. I've seen these models for sale from $25 to $100 in my region. I have both models and use them as monitors from time to time, typically for testing. A question that I see is, is this a practical way to get a monitor on the cheap? The easy answer is yes. A 27-inch 2560 by 1440 monitor runs from about $180 to $490. The higher prices are from name brands in their premium lines. You can also get, well, with the iMac you also get built-in speakers which could be worth another $25, which you'd have to pay if you just bought a monitor. And if you, you can also use the iMac as a computer in a pinch for general office stuff. This video though is about power consumption. I have uh, a PN1500. PN this is a 2000 but it's a similar device and let's see. Um, so um, it has prongs on the back, you plug it in to your power outlet and then you plug your device in here and it measures the power consumption in real time. So I have an ultra, Dell UltraSharp 25 inch um, 2560 by 1440U 2515H monitor and um, it looks like this. Um, I hooked it up to an M1 Mini and it registered 27 watts. This is using an HDMI cable from the M1 Mini with no USB ports in use on the monitor. This, this monitor has five USB ports and I didn't want to affect power readings by plugging things in. I also have uh, two Dell UltraSharp U2718Q 27-inch 4K monitors. Uh, the resolution is higher than the 2009 and 2010 iMac 27s, but uh, it's just another thing to test. And instead of testing it, I just looked it up on um, this website, uh, Display Specifications. And this model comes in at 30 watts, which is reasonable given that a 25-inch monitor came in at 27 watts. Uh, I have one of these, Core 2 Duo 3.06. Oh, this is a 21.5. Right, 3.06 27 inch late 2009 iMac. My model is a 1 terabyte hard disk drive and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I hooked it up to a mid 2015 MacBook Pro 15 via mini display port cable. The iMac had a wired Logitech mouse and wired Cooler Master TKL keyboard hooked up. The iMac was not logged in and using it for target display mode showed power consumption of 154 watts. Then I tested my um, mid-2010 Core i7 27-inch iMac and um, this has one terabyte hard disk drive and 32 gigabytes of RAM and hooked up to the same 2015 MacBook Pro and it registered 157 watts in target display mode with no USB devices plugged in. Uh, the keyboard and mouse were Bluetooth. So power consumption between the two iMacs in target display mode is similar, though the, the mid-2010 that I have has a much faster CPU than the late 2009. You can see the Geekbench 5 on it is 2004, whereas the Geekbench 5 on the 2009 is 673. So it's got about, it can do about uh, three times more work. Electricity in my household is uh, 22.5 cents per kilowatt hour. We can just round it up to 160 watts for, I, for the iMac. So about 130 watts difference between using an iMac and a monitor. So uh, it's a bit more than a kilowatt hour for an eight hour day or 
$22.5 cents per day or $82 a year if used every day. I also ran a test with the iMac 20, with the 2010 iMac 27 watching a full screen YouTube video. The power consumption was 175 watts, so about 20 watts for the computer. My conclusion is that target display mode does use a significant amount of power compared to a monitor, and that may be a factor if you directly pay for your electricity usage. If you live in a dorm room or apartment where electricity is included in the rent or use it at your workplace, then the personal cost of the device may weigh in favor of one of these old iMacs. But uh, power, power can be pretty expensive in some areas. I understand in California that some places pay uh, 35 cents per kilowatt hour. And uh, if you use it a lot, then it does add up. I happen to work in an unheated basement, and right now it's 34 degrees outside, so it's pretty chilly in my basement. And uh, I don't mind the heat generation. Um, sometimes I use a space heater to stay warm. Uh, but in the summertime, um, if I use these old IMAX, uh, then it does generate a moderate amount of heat, and the basement gets warm from them. So. Uh, just some objective measurements and observations on target display mode um, and hopefully you find you found this useful